Hello, I'm Michael Cassidy. You've come to my channel and I appreciate you so much. Please subscribe to us if you enjoy something you see here. Maybe a barber student or a beauty school student uh, or somebody maybe learning the flat top for the first time. It's not that hard, but we just kind of stood this hair up. We could get to it. We're going to do a flat top. Um, I'm probably going to come in with the flat top comb right to start with. Just come in and we're going to get some of this out of the way. inch guard on the sides. Robert, you got a CD player at your church? You play CDs, soundtracks? I can, uh, I got one of them, uh, little Karanka machine. Yeah. Yeah, I can put it on there. Yeah. We've been talking, I, I ain't talking about it a long time. I was wanting to get a whole new system, you know, sound system. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure I could get the attachment to go to the one I got. Well, I could just we could use a regular machine to just put them up, you know, turn it up loud and have it. You got a microphone with your PA system? So. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, I can okay. plug this here into the sound system. We'll okay on that. I've done that at several funerals, and they wanted certain things to play. That's all we got to do. Yeah, one little girl, she sang on uh, "Amazing Grace." Mm -hmm. Her daddy helped do the service. He, he was a long man. Mm -hmm. It sounded like you was here an old time at Baptist preacher when he was up there. Mm -hmm. And his, his family, he's got nine children. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just so sort of well behaved, you just want to believe. Yeah. And this girl, her name is Isabel. Mm -hmm. She's got the most beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. She sang at her uncle's funeral and her.
every man got to go in the pasture by his property. Oh, how bad was it? 55 and a 35. Oh, 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 oh. One better for was He gave me a break. That was nice. He gave me a warning too. That's when good. He walked up to the car at the Dollar General. I done got down there. I told him, I said, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I was speeding. He said, give me your license and restoration. I said, well, I got a weapon in the pocket. He said, that's all right. Get your restoration. He said, I'll be back. He went to the car and he come back. He said, here, Mr. Turner, you have no court date, no fine. I'm giving you a warrant. Ain't that nice? I told him, I said, you don't know how much I appreciate that. And see if I had tried to argue with him. Yeah. But when he was walking to the car, I was saying, I'm guilty. I know I'm guilty. <laughs> they ain't no good at saying I won't speed him. No, no, I knew. I, I, told, I was daydreaming. I actually was daydreaming. Mm -hmm. Coming from Chesterfield. We had run all day, and I was wanting to get home. Mm -hmm. And just rest a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I might have been running faster than that. That's not nice something that you off to. <laughs> yeah, well, I found out over the years, you'd be honest with me. It lets you go a lot easier. Yeah. I went before Mr. T Bell down there one time. He said, Well, what you doing here? I said, I need a break. Mm -hmm. And the patrolman told him, said, Well, he was honest and truthful. And so he dropped my fine from $160 to $80. Nice, sir. And I still lost four points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was turning in over there at Becker and I saw a pass three behind me and hit me. I blamed it on me. Hey, Sweetheart. Hey, how you? I'm good. I went down there. Should be a washing machine, a dryer in there, and maybe a refrigerator in there. Is that right? There's a fridge and a stove. I didn't say in long because the smell was horrid. Okay. And I know that back bedroom, it's going to need the walls are going to be replaced. Okay. And the carpet, it's mold and. Okay, we'll we'll get to that then. Okay. Oh, um, you want me to come back down here a little bit? Uh, that'd be fine. That'd be great. When well, would be a good time? Oh. Uh, just uh, any time, probably about the next few minutes. I'm making a video now. This flat top haircut, so all this is on there. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so sorry. That's all right. But uh, you, you're not on the video. I didn't show you on there. But, uh, just let me know something we'll talk about. Or call me back here. Here you go. Here's my number. Call me back and we'll talk about it. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Dan. Give me a ring back here a little bit. We'll talk about it. All right, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it was a bad shape, the guy just. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a trailer down there on the surf. Yeah. I used to live in, I think it was 31, it's right here on this dirt side. Mm -hmm. I live down there, that's where Mr. Buddy Spears lived down there in the curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a lot different. <laughs> Now this is not finished yet. This haircut's not up yeah. here, but uh, I'm gonna stop talking here. But I'm gonna come in here and come back up and finish it up. You always notice if you get some of it finished, then you come back and work itself back up just a little bit. I rented a trailer from uh, a Denby man. Yeah, just this. No, no, he lived down here on Cape Road. When you start down that hill before you get to Tills Mill Road, mm -hmm. on the right right there. Oh, yeah, I know you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, and we that rent. That's two or three dollars. Yeah, because I was going to take one of them. <laughs> rent with option to buy. Mm -hmm. We stayed out there maybe two years or three, and then he changed his mind. 
you got to get paperwork done to start with if you're going to do something yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, uh, and I, that was a lesson I learned. Anyway, to make, my cousin ended up and bought that trailer, and then a tornado come through and flipped it upside down. Mm -hmm. But I loved it because the kitchen was, it was lifted up, and you step down into the bedroom mm -hmm. and to the living room. And saloon doors where the wash and dry was. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. you see, we was on paper to get it close enough, then we was gonna go to the bank and borrow the rest of the money. And he he backed out on You see what goes on in the barber shop every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Basically, they get to see what happens. They get the real story. <laughs> well, which is all right. <laughs> well, a lot of people speak up sometimes, and that's that's habit. Oh yeah. See my my friend. He's got up and testified in church about the he he seen himself out of his body. Yeah. And then still talking that way. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand it all. No. That flesh. Flesh and blood. Still crawling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All I know is America's in trouble. I, I believe that too. I believe that too. They, and worse the trouble than what they think. I, I think so too. I'm scared we, they'll ever take us from a foreign land and try to take us. They're going to do it. they already here. Yeah. yeah. These training camps, even up here in New York, mm -hmm. they thought. Yep. And there's a separation now of Christians and non Christians. Mm -hmm. Big time. Automatically, if you're Christian, you're wrong nowadays. Yeah. You're on the wrong. Whatever used to be right is wrong now. What's wrong is right now. Yeah. And the Bible says, speak to that. Yeah. And that's a little bit of persecution we're going through now. That it's just it's nothing. It's nothing. Compared to what it is when they're beheading you, you know. And see, the Bible says people kill you in, in God's name, and that's what is that what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Now, what I did is drop back down to a, a three eighths on the side here <clears throat> to make this, and the shorter you get this, the better that flat top's going to look. I always remember that. Mm -hmm. Get this, it's going to make it stand out more. And this political wreck talk did not change the. The uh, the sin that we commit. Oh, I know it. But if you say certain words, uh, well, if they want truly to have a good life, the, mm -hmm. the best life is to follow Christ. You know. Well, this thing that's really bothering me now is these people that identify as one sex and another one to go in the women and the boys' bathroom. Yes, yes. It's really disturbing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about my granddaughter and the other one. Yeah, that set me on fire. Well, I saw a guy outside the light pole yesterday at Walmart right there at McDonald's. Act like he was trying to use the bathroom or something. What's going on there? That one phobia going on. Let's put that away. So they're doing all kinds of things nowadays. It's just got bad. Yeah. I don't know. They think you're not supposed to say nothing. Hey, you know. You have to say, I have to. Well, see, it's just like now, if you indecent expose yourself, they can make you register as a sex offender. A lot. <laughs> and see, I mean, I don't agree with that. It's little children stuff yourself. that messed up, little children and things. Yeah. yeah, but I do believe that that's a, that's a little out of line there. Mm -hmm. Michael speaking. 